Let's talk about how much money women are making in soccer. Okay, so for the 2014 Men's World Cup, the total amount of prizes available for the men, $576 million. This year for the Women's World Cup, the total amount of prize winnings available is $15 million. Boop. Just to put that into perspective, by the way, FIFA spent $27 million on this movie, United Passions, a movie so bad it got a zero on Rotten Tomatoes. Worse than Kazam. I am Kazam. And it's not just the prize money that doesn't stack up. This year, for the first time ever in any World Cup, the women were forced to play on artificial grass. To use another example, during the last Olympics, the Japanese women's team reportedly flew coach, while in the same flight, the men were way up front in business class. With such low payouts and benefits, you would assume that it's because there simply isn't the same level of interest. Okay, so well, let's look at the numbers. So this year, the Stanley Cup Finals averaged 7.6 million viewers a game. The NBA Finals had 13.9 million a game. The 2014 Men's Final, they got 26.5 million viewers. And the Women's Final this year drew 26.7 million viewers. That's the most Americans who have ever watched a soccer game. But look, ratings isn't everything, so how much do the Cups actually make? Fox Sports 1, which carried the Women's World Cup, is thought to have made $17 million in sponsorship revenue during the World Cup. Or in soccer terms, go! And the Men's World Cup, $529 million. Or in soccer terms, go! So yes, the Women's World Cup makes less than the Men's World Cup, so they get less money. That's the way it has to be, that's the market, right? Not necessarily. Some sports have changed their pay structure. Take the New York City Marathon. They split their winnings 50-50. The only major sport to do this is tennis. They also split all prizes 50-50 men and women. But that wasn't always the case. In the 1970s, tennis tournaments were paying men 12 times what women were getting. The biggest female tennis star at the time, Billie Jean King, she lobbied hard and she managed to get each of the Grand Slam tournaments to pay out equal prizes. So female athletes take note, 3,840% pay disparity, that doesn't always have to be. Thank uh you. -huh.